Hey, sugar. Sorry I'm late. Pops asked me to help out with his delivery at the bar, and I wanted to, you know, look presentable instead of looking like I just got done hauling 40 cases of beer. Uh, um, sugar? Babe? Not in the kitchen. Not in the office. Bathroom's empty, too. Guess that means, uh... Sugar? You in the bedroom? Oh. Hey. You feeling all right? You look kind of out of it. It's acting up again? Oh, damn. I'm sorry. How bad is it this time? Oh. That's, uh, that's worse than usual. No wonder you're back here holed up in bed. I'd do the same thing. How, uh, how long you been feeling like this? Uh, did, did you call the doc? You need me to take you anywhere? No. All right. Oh, whoa, hey, did I say something wrong? It's not like you to just burst into tears at the drop of a hat. Well, no, 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 it's okay. Babe, you're dealing with something that ain't your fault at all. You don't have to apologize for it. Here, can I, can I hold your hand? Okay. Hey, it's all right. I'm here. I... Oh, well, yeah, I... I can't imagine how terrible it makes you feel. I know you've tried to describe it, but... Oh? Well... Yeah, we were going to go out to the movies tonight, but if you can't make it, it's not a problem. I don't have the tickets yet or anything. Hey, look. I promise. It's okay. It's all right. I know you have days like this sometimes. And I know you do everything you can to keep them from happening. But that don't mean having a flare-up is some kind of failure on your part. Not at all. There. I ain't so good at making people feel better, but... Sugar, I know how strong you are. And just because your body's telling you that today ain't the day to go to the movies or run errands or clean house, that don't mean you're any less strong. What you're dealing with, it's going to do this to you from time to time. And when it does, we'll get through it and we'll keep moving forward. The fact that you have so many good days shows just how strong you are. And those good days and all the things you did on those days, it's not erased because of one day where you need to rest. You're still strong. Hell, you're one of the strongest people I know of. It may not seem like it now, but you are. And hey, even if you weren't, it's okay. Hey, the fact of the matter is, I, I kind of look up to you in that respect. You don't know when you're going to have a day like today. It could be any day of the week. But in spite of that, you go out and do what you got to do. You kick ass at your work. You got so much talent. And 
all, all, you do all that not knowing when you're going to need the extra rest. Your doc said rest was important, right? And that sometimes your body would need a little extra. Today's one of your extra rest days. Nobody, oh, and I mean nobody, better talk any shit about you for that. Because you know if they do, I got your back. How about this? Have you eaten today? Taking your meds? No? All right, then. I'll make us something light. Like some soup, maybe. I'll get your meds together. Then we can spend the day just cuddling in bed. Sounds like a plan? Good. You rest for a little bit, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, here we go. Some of your favorite soup, some crackers, along with your meds and a nice tall glass of water. Here, let me sit the tray right here so you can reach everything. Now, I mean, I'm not some kind of gourmet chef or anywhere near as good as you are, but I can at least get some soup out of a can without needing the fire department. Usually. Now, this should get you back on track. You mind if I scoot you into bed with you? <laughs> I could probably use a little nap, too, after that delivery. And the strenuous effort it takes to put some soup in a bowl and heat it in a microwave. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, I love you, sugar. I wouldn't trade you or this for anything in the world. Both the good days and the bad. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. <sighs> now, eat up. Lord knows you're going to need all the energy you can get to put up with me. 